What's up guys, this is Justin El Toro Torres. I am here to give you guys the wall flip tutorial by requesting my friend Chuck. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a wall flip from scratch, from if you have a back flip, and if you can do a running gainer. Well, let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna teach you is how to do a back flip, or not back flip. First I'm gonna teach you how to do is a wall flip from scratch. That's pretty much no back flip, no gainer. You're just trying it out first time. Um, so first thing you gotta do is go with the fear of going over your head. Uh, I have some progressions to teach you how to do that without it being too dangerous and you just throw yourself into a wall flip. So I'm gonna show you the first progression. All right, so the first progression is you're gonna put your strongest foot on the wall. Mine is my right. And you're just gonna swing like you're gonna run a wall flip. So swing, and then you're gonna do a cartwheel. All right, you can turn your hips. You can turn your hips if you're not all that flexible. So I'll show you this now. All right, so next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna try to do the same thing. But you're going to try to do it so that your hands don't touch the ground. So you're kind of doing like a wall aerial type thing. So you're going to put your arms up, pull it really hard, and then bring this leg around so that it hits the ground first. That could also be kind of like a hook kick for you trickers out there. If it's not much of an arrow, you could call it a hook kick from the wall flip. So yeah. All right, so now what you want to do is you kind of want to take the aerial and go a lot more backwards. So that's more of a wall back handspring. Uh, this will be the final progression until the actual wall flip. So I'll show you this now. All right, so you see my back handspring back flip tutorial. You know that um, to do a back flip is pretty much the back handspring without your hands. And the only way to do that is to get higher so that your hands miss the ground. So you pretty much do the same thing with the wall flip. You're gonna put your leg a lot higher and you're gonna swing a lot harder so that you miss the ground with your hands and you go straight into the wall flip. That's pretty much the last progression. I'll show you the whole progression um, one by one, step by step. All right, well, that's the wall flip from scratch. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to do a wall flip from a back flip. All right, so now I'm gonna teach you how to do a wall flip from a back flip. It's a little more challenging than doing it from a gainer, but I have some progressions to teach you how to do it. All right, so first thing you gotta do is you're gonna come up, kick the wall, put your foot back down and do a back flip. Make sure this is quick, because this is gonna teach you how to do a back flip close to the wall. It's gonna have you go through the motions without actually doing the flip. All right, so next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto the wall with one foot and kind of stall there. But while you're on the wall, you're gonna throw your head back so that you can see what is behind you and it'll help you get over the fear of going backwards. Now you're gonna do the same thing, but once you go back to the ground, you're gonna do a back flip. All right, so now you're gonna actually go for the wall flip. If you've ever done a back flip off of something, think of it like that except you're gonna be doing a backflip on the edge of the obstacle. So when doing it, try thinking about it in that way. All right, so now I'm gonna teach you how to do a wall flip from a running gainer. A wall flip is pretty much a running gainer on a wall. This progression is probably gonna be a little shorter than the others because it is a lot more simple and it has fewer steps. 
All right, so when doing this progression, you want to be able to do a running gainer. Your gainer has to be high and it has to be clean. You can't be barely landing it. You have to land it on your feet. All right, so for this progression, I'm going to make you do your running gainer, but instead of having a normal, like, one foot stride and then lifting your leg up for the gainer, I'm going to make you make your stride a whole lot bigger. So I'll show you what this what it looks like. So this is a regular running gainer stride. Notice how the normal running gainer stride is about a foot in front of your foot. Now for the wall flip, you, you want to make your running gainer more than a foot stride. You want it to be about a two foot stride because it's going to teach you to place your foot high up on the wall and to bring your leg up higher. I'll show you what this looks like. So now to take the running gainer onto a hill. This will simulate an actual wall flip. So you're going to do what I told you. You're going to stretch out your leg so that it's high up on the hill. And you're going to bring your lifting leg high up to your chest. Almost like you're trying to tuck, but it's only just to get height. So you're going to keep your leg up. Bring your arms up. And then you're going to tuck. And then this will be more of a slanted wall flip. All right. All right, so now you have to take it to a less slanted wall. This will be the last progression before the actual wall flip. All you have to do for less slanted walls is put your foot higher on the wall and lift your arms up a lot higher. So with the leg that's on the wall, you should push onto the wall up and out so that you get height and you get away from the wall. Now it's time for the actual wall flip. Just take what you learned from the previous steps and apply it to an actual wall. All right, well, that's the wall flip tutorial. Uh, comment any of the moves that you would like a tutorial on. My name is Justin Del Toro Torres, and I will see you guys later.